Everyone, we are live on Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Jared Hall from Entertainment Weekly here on a very full couch with the uh, cast and director of the Book of Henry. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll start down at the very end there. Director Colin Trevorrow. Uh, we have the stars Jane Lieberher, Jacob Tremblay, and Maddie Ziegler. You may recognize all of them for uh, various reasons. This guy, I mean, certainly held his own with uh, Bill Murray and Melissa McCarthy in St. Vincent. You were fantastic in that movie. Oh, Loved it so much. much. This one right here, I don't know. I don't think he's going to be very successful at all. I'm just kidding. You are... I, I cannot get enough of you. Room, um, I maybe saw three times and like cried for profusely each time. So thank you for that. Too. And this one right here, man, Maddie can kill it with her dancing. You probably know her from, from Dance Moms or the Sia movies or Sia music videos or, uh, gosh, even Pretty Little Liars you were on. You vo have a voice role in uh, Leap coming up, right? Mm -hmm. and you're staying busy. So thank you guys all so much for being here. This movie, uh, The Book of Henry, Colin, I should, uh, I should probably start with you because you came off of Jurassic World, an enormous film. Congratulations, by the way, thank on you. that. Uh, and, and went into this considerably smaller, yeah. um, dinosaurless, very intimate movie, but you'd had your eye on this for a while, right? Yeah, dinosaur list could be considered a spoiler. We're, there might <laughs> oh, be dinosaurs in it. <laughs> yeah. You never know. Yeah, uh, yeah I did. You know, I, I, I looked at this uh, before I uh, was offered Jurassic World, and it's something wow. that uh, I, I loved it. it. It's something that made me remember what it was like to be a, a kid and have the feeling that this character has, which is that, you know, there's there's good and evil in the world, and, and, mm -hmm. and you, if something's going wrong, you got to stop it, and, and I love that about this character. And uh, and so I, after after that film, I, I came back to the producers and, and said, please, you know, can I still do this? And they never thought that I would come back. They were like, you're going to be on a mm -hmm. boat or something mm -hmm. after that movie, and, and uh, we went and we all did it together. Well, I guess that's one of those things, maybe like the... The stars aligned. Timing was all right. Yeah, you kind of maybe needed to do that and then come back. You know what I mean? Is it? Did it feel like one of those things for you? Yeah, I made it align. I, I had a yeah. short little window of time that I could I could do it, and so we put it together really quickly. Mm. We were shooting it what three months after Jurassic World came out, wow. so we still had all the Legos. So he could build all the Lego sets. They were all downstairs mm -hmm. in the in the basement where the school was. <laughs> uh, and yeah, you know, I I just feel like. It's it's important that we keep telling original stories, not mm. just new versions of the things that we loved when we were kids. Even yeah. though I loved doing mm. that too, mm. uh, it really mattered to me. Yeah, you love doing it so much. You're going to be doing it again. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but that that's a really interesting point that you brought up: original stories, because this is an original story. Even though I, I think for a while there, I thought, oh, the Book of Henry, it must be based on a book, but it's not, which right. I think is going to be of great benefit to the audience because there are things that happen with uh, with some of these characters, I don't even want to say which ones because it could spoil something, um, that are so completely unexpected, but in the most wonderful way, the way it services the story and, and propels things forward. Um, so, Jaden, let me come to you because your character, the Henry of uh, the Book of Henry, um, he's a, a, a kid genius. He takes care of the household, takes mm -hmm. care of mom, the finances. We know there is a lot of uh, money involved. You're, you're on the phone, like, dealing with stocks yeah. and, and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but you know something is going on next door yes. uh, with uh, Maddie's character, Christina, and her stepdad. Um, and... You you really want to take action. You're kind of advised, no, we don't get in people's business. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's where things go from there. As you're reading uh, the script, I don't know how much you knew before you read it, but I have to wonder what you thought when it came to a certain point something happens with the character and, and things move forward. Like, what were your thoughts as you're going through reading the script? Um, it's, yeah, okay. It's an interesting script, and, uh, like... When you're reading it, you don't know what to expect. You mm -hmm. don't know what's happening next. Just like the preview, and um, people didn't expect it to to go. Kind of, they didn't expect to see some bad things happen. They mm -hmm. they were expecting just a um, a funny uh, family movie. So um, yeah, it just kept it, it keeps surprising you mm -hmm. when you're. And by the way, it is still funny. It. There are funny moments. Yes, and it absolutely are. is a family course, movie. Yeah. But it it. It's so much more than that. Yeah, too. it's more than that. I get, yeah. It's much deeper. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so then when it was like no-brainer for you, like, oh, I've got to play this kid. 
Yes, of course. I mean, <laughs> Henry is an amazing character, mm. and I'm honored that I got to play him. Yeah, did you, um, like, what was your, yeah, what was your initial impression of him? Is, is he someone, like, you could identify, like, oh, I would be friends with him in school? I mean, he, even though he is a, like you said, a genius, and, um, he, he is a normal kid. Like, people can easily get along with him. Mm. Other kids, like, really respect him, and, um, they look up to him. And, um... So, yes, I definitely um, wanted to play this character because I kind of um, saw an, a normal person in him. Mm -hmm. Well, someone who looks up to him, younger brother, Peter. Yeah. Yeah, now tell me about uh, your experience here because what, what most people are, are uh, you know, have seen you from in, in Room and whatnot, you're often in movies with a lot of adults, and in the case of Room with a dog. Um, uh, but this, this here, you got a chance to be among actors more of, of your own age. Was, how was that dynamic for you? Um, it was, <clears throat> sorry, it was fun. I mean, yeah, we did have to do school, but. <laughs> <laughs> that little thing. I always tried to get out of it. And, and, <laughs> and uh, it was a big distraction for Maddie and. Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we had to take breaks, and Maddie would teach us stretch moves, or um, oh. I would to just calm everyone down a little bit. Dance moves, and she could, she could put up her leg like and touch her forehead. So that's, can, that was really cool. I can imagine. So no way talking about teaching dance moves and like so you were like were there dance offs because if you've seen the videos of him from like at you know Oscar parties and stuff I mean you've got some moves in those Uptown Funk videos they were doing some dance offs like, oh yeah. they were I challenge her all the time and oh he would, he he would challenge you mm -hmm. he won. I won constantly every time my mind I is blown so right now those. really that is very untrue but is this a very <laughs> specific style of dance that you uh, excel in um <laughs> yes Throbbing in pain <laughs> yeah, I have, I can't dance whatsoever, so, okay. I mean, I'm good at that, I'm good at, like, looking like I don't know what I'm doing. You have <laughs> non-dance dance moves. Yes, exactly. exactly. Exactly, see? Own it. You gotta own it there. Yes. Uh, Maddie, with uh, Christina here, it, it is your feature film debut. You've, you've acted in some TV shows, of course, but your feature film debut, what's, what's that mean to you? What's it mean for it to be this movie? It means so much to me, especially because it was this cast, and this director and everything and I was so I was really intimidated walking in because I was the only one that hasn't done a movie before and it can be I mean really scary because things scary. you gotta learn on the spot too right and I was just hoping that I could execute it well mm -hmm. enough um, but I without the help of them I think I wouldn't have done as well just because I learned so much even just from watching them the way they would hold themselves on camera so mm -hmm. It looks like she executed things just fine. She's so good, man. She's so good. I, yeah. I, all of these guys. I mean, it's really, you know, you can only hope when working with younger people that they're going to be as as natural and as real as they were all able to be. And, you know, the movie definitely delves into some, some challenging mm -hmm. uh, issues and, and emotions. And for all of them to be able to handle all that while taking care of each other, we became a family. That's how these movies go. And, and Naomi, who can't be here because she's in Budapest. Europe, yes, yeah. Uh, she's actually working with the leading lady of my next movie. They're mm -hmm. making a movie together. Mm -hmm. uh, and so she sends all of her best, but uh, she became kind of the den mother uh, of our movie. Uh, and, and these two, of course, know her, have worked with her before. That's right. Yes, yeah. we have. Yeah, um, but to that point, of course, you like you said when you're you're dealing with a movie that's so full of uh, younger actors. Uh, I don't know how much tougher that makes the casting process, but of course, you you got some good ones here. But what did they deliver that you weren't expecting? You know, I just think, act like you're not here right now. Yeah, so no, I'm going to say really good things about yeah. all of you. Yeah. Uh, well, I think you know each of them. I think I was most surprised with how comfortable Maddie was able to become and how quickly because it's weird being under all these lights and those cameras in your mm -hmm. face it's it sometimes it, it can really throw you off your game there's no place in your natural life where that happens mm -hmm. uh, and so for for these guys to <coughs> to guide her into a place where she felt comfortable and I relied on them uh, just as much as, as anyone else to, to do that uh, you're always great I mean what am I gonna say man like you're so consistently uh, just dialed into uh, what, how that character is feeling at that moment, uh, and your mom is great because Ooh. she has a way of talking to you where you guys are really able to find emotions that uh, I think a lot of adults have mm -hmm. a hard time. Tears into. again. This one got me again in yeah. this movie. Yeah. 
Uh, and I was Dang. really, you know, when when <laughs> Jaden started doing what he was, he came in prepared to do something very specific mm -hmm. with this character, and it surprised all of us. And it, it wasn't what we expected, and he mm -hmm. wasn't a, a precocious kid who felt like he knew he was smarter than everyone, even if he did. Mm -hmm. uh, and his emotional IQ was really high. His EQ was very high, yeah. and and his empathy was high. And uh, it was such a beautiful performance that it's sort of like when you, I didn't talk to him much because it's like you got a pitcher who's mm -hmm. pitching a perfect game, so I just sat back <laughs> and just watched what he was doing, and uh, it was pretty incredible. Oh, that's a great compliment mm -hmm. there. Pitcher Thank with you. a perfect game. And, and that's true because it's not a book. You, there's not a lot of extra material for these guys to rely on to, you know, for any extra background information on these characters. So No, and it's also, yeah. there's not even a kind of movie they can watch to right. demonstrate what that's they're trying to do. It's a complete yeah. original. Yeah, yeah there, there was someone asked us if we could like relate this, this to another film or TV show, and we were like, it's just... Like our, it's very original. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe the thing people might latch onto just because it was so popular recently is Stranger Things, but that really is only because you have the younger cast leading the way. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, yeah, it's, I mean, there is, there is mystery involved here. There is uh, adventure. There are lots of emotions at stake, um, parental issues going on, of course. But um, yeah, it's... It's the Book of Henry, if you're just joining us uh, here on Facebook Live. You have got to see this movie. We are with the director and the cast. Maddie, I want to ask you, because your character is so um, silent often, mm -hmm. um, and, and for very good, well, not good reason, but you know what I mean. There, there, is, a, uh, there is a good reason for it, um, her, your character being abused by her <coughs> stepfather. Um, there comes a point where you finally get to really express to everyone what is happening in your life in dance how did you how, how did your history your experience with dance translate to acting and to this role in particular yeah well I feel like dance helped me a lot transition mm. into acting because when you're dancing you have to emote and you have to draw from these emotions mm. and um, which is why you're one of the best because at your age you do it so well thank you <laughs> but um, I was so excited that I got to kind of show that dance piece in mm -hmm. the film just because it's that's me and um, it was really cool that I got to bring both acting and dancing into one. Mm -hmm. Which we need to mention, uh, the dance in the film, what, what, what is it? It just went up on, uh, it's on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you're done watching us here, you can <laughs> check out the, the full dance. It uh, is not quite the same um, in the film in terms of you won't see it as one just fluid dance. It is a, a very uh, intense moment in the film, uh, cut together in a way that that really drives uh, drives that third act. And it's just wow. It is it's something else. Hey, we have some fan questions. Should we ask those? Uh, because we got fans to submit those. Let's hear. I will just pull up the old uh, iPad oh. here. Ah, here we go. Okay. If you guys were a genius like Henry in real life, what would you do with that knowledge? <laughs> Oh, he knows the answer. Go for it. <laughs> he buzzed in right away. It's like family feud. Survey says. Survey. Obviously, part of me. Um, um, what I would do if I was as smart as Henry, <clears throat> I would probably make a motorcycle that I would be able to ride. Specifically, just for you. Like in, like in, like a motorcycle. That would turn into a robot. So oh, it would oh. be like a transformer. <laughs> okay. And it would drive for me, so I wouldn't have to practice all the movements of like. Mm -hmm. I think there might actually be an original screenplay idea here somewhere, mm -hmm. yeah. and we might It'd know someone like who could help with that. A <laughs> kit, but a motorcycle. Right, kit from. Wait, you're talking about kit like the car? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, wow, you you know your. 70s and 80s pop culture here. Right. That's how you do the Knight Rider. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we have one for you. No. Uh, do you guys have an answer for that? Do you know what you would do with, with that kind of knowledge, that kind of genius? Hmm. There's a lot of things I would want to do. Yeah. Mm. I, well, what Henry does is he he invests in the stock market. Yes. And he takes care of his family financially. That would be, be able to understand that and, like, you know, have it talent in that field, mm -hmm. that would be... It can be complicated. Yes, it can be. Yeah, absolutely. We can come back to you on that if yeah, you want. Yeah, I can. Okay. Um, and this is going to sound weird, but I think I know your answer to this. What was the last movie you saw? 
You know my answer? Well, I'll let you answer and then I'll tell you why I might know the answer. Uh, I think it was Wonder Woman. Okay, that's what I, I know someone who saw you there oh. with a couple few famous friends at the Arclight. Oh, yeah, because um, <laughs> Sia wrote the yes. credits mm -hmm. song and she was singing it in the theater and then everyone was got really confused. She was singing it in the theater with like as it was playing. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't get that part of the story. That was, was really cool. So people everyone was like looking around. They were so confused. It was really funny, but that's really cool. Okay, see, too bad I missed that screening. What was the last movie you saw, Jacob? Last movie I saw was The Mummy. Ooh, okay, all right. Um, Is that a kind of like action movie you'd like to make? Um, yeah, I, I kind of <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> He's in Predator. He's making uh, an action Oh, movie. yeah, we're oh, gonna, yes, uh-huh. We're gonna have action tremble. Yeah, right? <laughs> Jaden? In the movie theater or just in oh, general? Oh, in general. The last movie I saw, I think it was Fist Fight, that, uh, Ice Cube, Charlie Day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, yeah. Plane, on the yeah. Plane here. There's With some Dean good... Norris. That was the yes. movie he was shooting yeah. at the oh, same yeah. time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. ours. Colin, how about you? I mean, I know you're kind of busy maybe in preps for a certain movie, but... I am still a human, and I yeah. go to the movies. Good, uh, right. I took my daughter to see Wonder Woman. Yeah? And oh. boy, was that. It was great, and just seeing how it... And she's four. Might be a little young for it, but we took her anyway. It's and just seeing how she responded to it. I even put a picture on Twitter of her before and after, and it was just her standing, and then suddenly she's got a sword, and she changed the way that she stands, and uh, you know, it's like, uh -huh. I am Wonder Woman. It was mm -hmm. pretty awesome. It gives you, it makes you feel like you can go conquer the world after you see it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's limited to the female members of the audience. I mean, I was like ready to go. It's just yeah. inspiring in general, like mm -hmm. makes you want to believe and there's mm -hmm. hope out there. Uh, which, you know, it actually in a strange way maybe kind of applies to the, to the bigger point of the story here. And there's so many things I want to say, but we can't because we would spoil stuff. Um, but that, to me, is all the more reason you need to go see uh, the book of Henry. Uh, you mentioned uh, The Predator. You're uh, kind of into filming that mm -hmm. right now? Oh, no, I finished it. You're finished. I'm finished. So <laughs> what? He's like, I'm done. Did my part. Um, ha, what should we expect from this movie? Um... Shock. Oh. You're gonna be scared. Great. Um, you're gonna be like, well, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Every, every time you see me, of course. Oh, right. oh, we should be scared when we see you? Oh, no, you should oh, be like, oh, he's cool. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, the cool part. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Gotcha. Um, you, you're finished shooting It. It, yes. There's so much hype and interest in this movie. Like, are you guys fully prepared for what's to come? No, we are not. <laughs> I, it's it's pretty exciting, but I was surprised by it. It's yeah. pretty exciting. There you go. Wow. You're good with puns. I take you good. everywhere. See, I another reason I like you. I love good puns. Um, and then Colin, you uh, you still have several months to go before you start shooting uh, episode nine, but um, yes, even longer than that. But we just uh, we just finished uh, in London on Jurassic World two. Yeah, we went to Hawaii for a little bit. Uh, so we're we're almost there. That comes out uh, in a year. Mm -hmm. awesome. go see, yeah, you'll Can't see that wait. one, right? Mm -hmm. We've sold one yeah. ticket. Mm -hmm. Jacob, probably more than one. Jacob actually came and visited in London. He got to see uh, oh. some animatronic dinosaurs. Whoa, really? And what yeah. else? What else did we do? You can tell him. We went to the Star Wars props department. That oh, was, was awesome. I mean, was that just like an amusement park for you? It's better than an amusement park. Like, tch, it was awesome. <laughs> I can only imagine. Uh, now let's be honest. It, are you gonna are you gonna put him in the movie or not? Yeah, Colin. Look, <laughs> look. There have been a lot of conversations. I think all the photos mm -hmm. that you have from us working on this movie. Mm -hmm. that, look at that that look. That's a very expectant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> every every image that you see when it looks like Jacob and I are sitting talking about the character, we're really talking about Star Wars. Uh -huh. We covered a lot of ground. Uh, Did he teach you anything about it that you hadn't? thought about? Absolutely. I, I talk to a lot of kids about Star Wars. I'm really interested in, in, in how they feel uh, about those characters and that story. I and wrote my own Star Wars script. He wrote his own script. He wrote the script. Well, your own, not the script. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. But your own. No, right. he's been working on, he wrote a comic book. He's been doing a lot of cool stuff. Three. Three, Three comic, comic books. books. All right. So we should be looking for episode nine starring... Jacob Tremblay next year. Uh, yeah, potentially. Would, <laughs> like, is this something you hope to even like? Will you work in your own cameo? I think it's kind of a thing with directors. I know? don't do no. I don't do on camera. Mm -hmm. I might do. I like doing voices occasionally. Oh. I, I was Mr. DNA in Jurassic World. 
Ah. So maybe I'll find an alien voice or something. Mm-hmm. My producer, Michelle Rejwan, on, on on episode nine was one of the weird aliens in Jakku, and she's you know it's it's her moment, mm-hmm. and I'm 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 a little envious, so I might become a weird alien voice too. You should have yeah, cool. that would be really cool. Well, guys, thank you all so so much uh, for being here. The movie it's just incredible. You're all great. Uh, the Book thank of Henry you. opens nationwide. This Friday, be sure to go see it. You will uh, you will most certainly be surprised by it. Thank you again, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Right, thanks. thanks so much.